What's going on guys? It's Jeff coming at you tonight with a review for the Outdoor Edge Jaeger pack. Um, there's multiple different uh, packs or you know versions of, the, of this setup. This one here is the Jaeger pack. So nice plastic case. Uh, get you two clips. You undo them, flip it open. They give you the gloves, your field dressing gloves inside. Uh, very handy to have. Saves a lot of mess. How many pairs come with that? I don't know. I never actually looked. Let's pull them out. I'm assuming probably two pair. Oh, one pair. Oh, one pair. Okay. Oh, okay. I get you started anyway. Yeah. A little disappointed out door edge. Could have sprung a little bit more there, but hey. Um, I'm going to say this right off the start. Not sponsored by these guys at all. Uh, or any place that sells their product, again, would be nice, that'd be cool, but not happening. So, back to the knives. We got a skinning knife, or boning knife, sorry, pardon me, a skinning knife, and then we have a gutting knife. They don't call it a gutting knife, they call it a Jaeger zip. It's gutting knife. So, this is where your blade is on this knife. It's on the top, okay? Remember that. The bottom, not sharp at all. It's designed that way. So when you're under the skin, the membrane, you put your thumb there, you can push along. Just push, and it separates it. And you don't have to worry about nicking the intestines or anything like that, right? It pushes out nice and easy, out of the way. I still would have it, still get my fingers in there. It's just, I don't know, that's just me. So that's your gutting knife. Nice quality, nice rubber handle, uh, which is nice for cleaning it. You can dip it in water as much as you want or whatever. Wipe it off. Um, your skinning knife, again, nice knife. Got a nice weight to it, you know. You have your thumb, you can follow it up. Very sharp. Very, very sharp. These guys are known for their blades being sharp. Were they sharp, sharp right out of the box? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I've been sharpening these. The only one I've sharpened is the bony knife. And I've used that because I've uh, breasted with partridge with it, right? Took them off, made ch uh, partridge breasts. Um, bony knife again, this one's the sharpest. Why? Because I've used sharpener likely. Um, I love I love the bony knife personally. Bony knife, it, it's got a good weight to it, it's got a good feel to it. You can really get in there, you can go around the bones and it's just good. It, it flows good in the hand. Um, be very careful, like I said. Anybody who knows or handles knives knows you can cut yourself with a knife. So be very careful. Extremely sharp. Um, like I said, it comes with a sharpener. Okay, you got your coarse uh, carbide sharpened side, and then you get your fine ceramic side. So your ceramic is going to be for you know just taking off that rough edge. And putting the putting the fine edge back on it, your core is going to be like if it's all burred and you know chipped stuff like that. So when you're going to use that, and then you're going to go to your ceramic. Me personally, when I sharpen my knives, this is me personally. I'm not saying this is how you need to do it. This is just what I do. I pull back six times, right? Just like this, and I tell. Uh, Razor sharp. Try that. Tell me that ain't razor sharp. Yeah, that feels good. Right? And that was only six pull throughs. Right, this one here. Feel that one. Still sharp, but it's not. Yeah. Right? Definitely not the same as the. Well, anyway, we'll, we'll put it through the fine ceramic one. Six times. Feel that. Oh yeah. Isn't that insane? Made a big difference. Absolutely. I do it six times, it's just a number that I like. I like the number six. And I hate uneven numbers. So six times, it's always worked good for me. That's what I like to do. So that's your sharpener. 
It's got a little thumb thing here, which I do really like for holding it. So you just put your finger on one side, your index, and your thumb on the other, or whatever, whatever fingers you want. I probably wouldn't use them, and your fingers are in the way there. Thumb and index, and you just pull it through. Left-handed, right-handed, same thing. Is that thing. base swivel in the bottom? No. Oh, uh, yeah, it does. Okay, so there you go. I didn't know that. That makes it more sturdy. 100%. Good eye. Good eye. I like that. I didn't know that. Cool. So yeah, that's your sharpener, guys. Um, you got your Jagger saw, as they call it. Really sharp. This, rib cage, right? You hold it just like this and you can get it right up in you. You can saw that rib cage. Um, works good. Definitely cuts through. Uh, what else we got here? Oh. And then you got your rib cage spreader, right? So you just stick that in and it keeps the rib cage open. So you can take all the entrails out, blah, 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 clean it out, whatever, however you want. It, it just holds it open. Obviously, you can use a stick if you want to, or you don't need to use anything. You can just go old school if you prefer to do that. Um, a lot of people don't like changing the methods they've used for years, right? And I don't blame you because I'm one of them people. So I like to keep it simple. Um, I like these new, new tools. If I can get this thing back in here. Sure, that works for me. Um, yeah, these things I believe are regular 89 or 109 at Cabela's. Um, you can get them other places. I got this on sale for $68 or $60, I believe. I bought it a while ago, I don't remember. They go on sale quite a bit, guys. Absolutely, I would say if you do a lot of hunting, absolutely worth its weight in gold. Um, this is a field to freezer processing kit. So what that means, just the obvious, it's meant to take the animal from the field, uh, you know, field dressed, processed animal, put it in your freezer, all in one kit. And like I said, I've used this and it works absolutely flawless, just as advertised. So I can't say enough things about these guys. I always wanted to try their stuff. I always wanted through knives. I don't know how many times I was in Cabela's. Um, said I want this, you know, so bad, and then I tell myself no, which doesn't happen often. <laughs> and uh, you know, or like girlfriend at the time would slap my fingers when I time I pick stuff up like this, because she knew. So I finally pulled the trigger on it, and I wouldn't go back. I wouldn't change it. Uh, I'm sure anybody else who has this can uh, attribute to that and would definitely agree. Uh, if not, let me know why. I would definitely like to know why you don't like it if you don't. Uh, maybe share some of your experiences with it. Uh, love to hear your feedback. All right, guys. And, you're, and one thing, you were right, it is $89.99. 89 But as a film, it is on sale for $59.99. There you go. So $89.99 regular, it's on sale for $59.99. Good deal, man. I'm telling you right now, if you want something like this, buy it. And just watch Cabela's because it goes on sale there quite a bit, like I said. Um, yeah. So that's all for that, folks. Uh, I'll see you on the next one.